G'day everybody, Emerson5 here. Hope you're all doing well. As part of my Ocean Monument relocation project, um, I needed a storage system that was going to be uh, going to be compact, um, but also I wanted it to be useful and actually look quite good. So what I came up with was a one by three by three stackable, tileable uh, system, which allows you to have a little indicator at the top so you have you can see if some an item is in it. So if I put an item in there, indicator comes on. If I take that item out, oh, the indicator's gone again. So I can very easily see along here uh, which items I do and I do need and which ones I don't uh, I don't need. So you can see I've got all these items, all these items here. Oh, need some more flint and steel. And sure enough, there's no flint and steel. Put some in there. Goes in. So no, it's not a it's not a uh, uh, an item sorting system that might come later, but the main reason why I uh, the main reason why I created this one was because of its uh, its quite compact size. As you can see from the from the front there, from the uh, chest, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's only three deep, by as I said, one wide. So you can stack it like this. It is quite uh, resource hungry, I guess. Let's go up here and see how we can make it. So, it's pretty basic, but all you need to use this is one chest, or it can be a single chest or a double chest. A single chest if you want to stack them all individually next to each other, like I have along there. Uh, so, sing a single chest, a sticky piston, a comparator, one redstone block, and I've opted for two lights, if you don't want to have a light at the top and behind the item frame, then you don't have to have that. You can, only, you can just have one redstone lamp if you like. But I think it's quite good because even if there's none, uh, even if there's no items in the chests, uh, as you can see, there's very little lighting required here, and this normally would be pitch black. But because these are all lights, whether they're on or they're off it still creates a nice amount of lighting. So anyway, I'll just show you how to make it. So, chest like that. Uh, comparator right behind it. That just tells whether there's something in it. Then uh, this will send a signal to the uh, sticky piston. On top of the sticky piston is a redstone block. In front of the redstone block is one redstone lamp. And on top of the redstone lamp is another redstone lamp. And now in front of this is, quite simply, the item frame, in which you can chuck something in there. Let's do that. Fish. So what this does is, uh, when you put an item in the chest, it turns the comparator on. Well, it, it does a comparison. It says, oh yes, there is an item in there. Lifts the sticker piston up, which makes that light turn on. Very simple, very basic, but as you can see, it's very easily tileable. So if we just get all of these, we can do very quickly do exactly the same thing. Oop. Now with this, that's obviously a bit trickier. Uh, in bedrock, when you put two next to each other, it does that, which is a bit of a pain. There's a couple of ways of doing about this. In Java, you can crouch, I think, crouch, and then it creates a new one. But in bedrock, it doesn't do that. So in bedrock, we just need to go like this. There we go. Done. Right, so we've got these two now. Good. Now we put two comparators. One there, one there. Two sticky pistons. Two redstone torches. No, two redstone or, uh, blocks. Two redstone lamps. There we go. Oh, item frames. Done. Now let's just get something else out of here and we can test and make sure that works. Boots. No one needs boots. Chuck it in there and shows up. Oh, we got string too. There you go. String. Super simple. And it's uh, pretty good. I like it. Anyway, hope you like the little tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about my 
Ocean Monument. Um, it's kind of been a bit of a fun project. Relocated it from about 3,000 blocks away. Uh, that's all good fun. This is my water area. Through here we have... Oh, I don't have that. My nether. Can't wait for the nether update. It's going to be good fun. Got a few empty blocks areas there. And access to the nether, nether down there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.